Hi, Megan. It is unprecedented for a front-running candidate in either party to suggest there'll be a no-show at a debate four days before the First of the Nation caucuses is something that no one could have imagined prior to Donald Trump's candidacy. Uh, he held a news conference today in Marshalltown, Iowa, before a rally. Uh, and Mr. Trump gathered the press just a, a few feet away from where the rally audience was waiting. And he initially suggested that he might not appear in the debate. But first, let's listen to what he said to the news conference initially. Most likely, I won't be doing the debate. See, the point is that with me, they're dealing with somebody that's a little bit different. They can't toy with me like they toy with everybody else. So let them have their debate, and let's see how they do with the ratings. So it sounded like he was pretty clear that he wasn't going to go, but it wasn't a sealed deal. And within just a matter of moments, uh, Mr. Trump's senior staff, his campaign manager, Corey Lewandowski, and his communications director, Hope Hicks, both told me that the boss, in their words, had made the decision and it was final. He will not be participating in the Fox debate two nights from now. Uh, and they then spread it out throughout the rest of the press. Uh, I suppose it's possible he could change his mind, leaving it to the staffers to say that it was a definitive no and he wouldn't be showing up, because what Mr. Trump said was that he was still probably not going to come. But uh, he's been issuing statements. He'll be on Twitter and Facebook soon, probably further pushing himself away from Thursday night's festivities, Megan.